Good morning everyone how are you my name is Ahmed Mushtaq welcome back to another video and of course this video is going to be all about makeup so one thing i want to say if you don't like a guy putting on makeup so please don't watch this video if you don't like me please don't watch this video and uh, don't waste your time while watching this video and don't waste my time while putting something negative into the comment section so please don't watch it so uh, today i'm just going to uh, try out for the first time a new product which is uh, a blending brush I have seen many people over the internet using this kind of brush to blend out their foundation but this time I found it into the market and uh, I was so excited to try this out and uh, this thing is a makeup brush a foundation brush so uh, this one is uh, like kind of uh, in the shape of a spoon and uh, you are meant to blend your foundation with it so this one is by Kylie if you can read out this is by Kylie Kylie okay what it says on the package it says uh Kylie Beverly Hills blending brush through its velvet like bristles and density packed ultra fine fibers this amazing brush is made to ensure an airbrushed effect with a streak free touch this brush feature an oval and angular surface that is beautifully crafted to blend liquid cream or powder seamlessly into your skin Okay, so that's it. I'm not not going to read out everything onto the package. So let's. Okay, so this is the brush. It feels so strange into my hand. It feels like a toothbrush to me. Uh, well, this is uh, into this size, which is a very tiny one. Uh, there was a kit available, uh, which was like this big kit, and it has like. Uh, a uh, brush like this of every size like from this to very thin brush so uh it was a bit expensive but um the single brush was into this size only so i thought okay let's buy it and let's give it a try it was just 150 rupees into the market so it is kind of a cheap brush to try and let's see uh like if you have seen my videos before so you know that i use this brush this flat top kabuki very dense brush to blend out my foundation and i just love this brush so i just want to see like if this brush is uh able to replace this brush so I'm excited to watch this. So let's start and let's choose a foundation and it says onto the packet that it is good for liquids, creams and powders. Well, I am going to apply uh, a liquid foundation which is uh, this one this is by Rimmel. Uh this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Nude Foundation with SPF 20. So I'm just going to apply this foundation onto my skin and let's see how beautifully this can blend my foundation. I'm going to take one pump. That's enough. for me for my face so this is like one pump of this foundation and i'm just going to remove my glasses please i know i don't look good without glasses so here we are without glasses so i'm just going to take this foundation and dab it onto my skin like this into dots like this don't comment that this is not your shade i know this is not my shade i bought it online and i am horrible in buying products online because you cannot match your shade. All right, so now I have dotted the foundation onto my skin and I have a mirror over there, so I am just going to blend it out. I don't know from where to start. It's like very um different to use, you know, a uh, brush not like this, but like this. So, you know. Okay. So let Oh my god, it's just way more different to apply, but okay. Let's, okay. So if you can see it is cool and at the same time very different to apply foundation To be honest I feel like it is taking a little more time to blend the foundation maybe because it has like very um small size that's why but you know I think with my uh this brush I have already like done my half face but with this i'm just uh have done my forehead only okay so one thing i can say like with this um you can get coverage also using the foundation left onto this brush to blend into my eyes Well this is way more <laughs> difficult I guess and it's not easy or maybe I'm not used to it so that's why 
Okay, it's way more difficult to blend under the eyes. Oh my god. Okay, so. And it is kind of very like, you know, um, this thing is like very, uh, what you can say, it's like very weak. You can, I, I'm just like feeling like I might break it while putting the uh, pressure onto it. Okay. But I don't know how to blend onto my nose. It is dense, it is um, like smooth. All right, so now I have blended the foundation with this brush and one thing I can say like uh, It takes a lot of time to blend the foundation than uh, the usual this brush But it may be because of the size of this brush because it's so tiny, but I can say like it gives you um, Little coverage it does not blend very sheerly onto your face. So uh, it can provide you a um, a little more coverage with your foundation but I'm not sure about this product because um, you know it takes a lot of time to blend the foundation uh, well the foundation is uh, you know nicely blended and it has coverage uh, I think it gives you more coverage than the regular brush so it is good for that but um, kind of liking it uh, but not like I'm like 50 50 about this brush um, I still love my uh, all-time favorite this brush to blend out my foundation but this is um, good and uh, if you want to uh, you know go and uh, try this out you can so yeah it feels really strange to blend the foundation with this thing but uh, it was good it was good it was good experience so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel because more uh, videos like that are going to be onto my channel so do subscribe and share it with a friend who wants to buy this one and who wants to uh, know that how it works and uh, um, you know anything like that so thank you so much guys for once again watching this video and uh, do subscribe to my channel finally Allah Hafiz